Connor, you uh, you promised this moment from the beginning. Finally, it's been achieved. Can you see me, Ray? <laughs> Can you see me clear over here? Ridiculed everyone on the roster. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. I operate on my time. I operate on my own time. And I'm running early on my time. To know my level, you've got to have size, reach, length. You've got to have some attributes. If you come in any way equal to me, I'm going to rip your whole head off. And that's it. I tell it every time. Eddie's a solid competitor. Eddie's a warrior. But he, he shouldn't have been in here with me. And that's just, that's just the truth of it. Sorry, I'm late. I just don't give up. I predict I rearrange his face. He's too easily hit. Through all the talk and through all everything else, he can be hit too easily. It's happened to him his whole career. And when you're talking about somebody, somebody with the precision I have, I'm gonna hit him, he's gonna fall. Maybe if his toughness holds up, he'll, he'll survive. But then his face will begin to be uh, rearranged. So that's, that's what I predict. You arrived in style today, man. Is this how the champ rolls? It was unbelievable. Tell me one time I have not arrived here <laughs> in style. I need to get a ride in that I thing, always. man. Wow. Look at that. The boots and all. What, are you making it rain the whole time you're on your way here? <laughs> That's some bus. I, did, I didn't see his bus. Where's your oh bus at? <laughs> <laughs> it's full of girls. He's in the boot. He's in the boot. <laughs> Where the f is my second belt? I've already got this one. Where's the second one at? Cheap <laughs> 4.2 billion this company was sold for. Where's that second belt? Go backstage and grab that <laughs> belt somewhere. <laughs> now I hear him. Hold on, I get me spit bookie. I'm gonna hand them my spit bookie. Tell them to go back and spit shine that belt and bring it back here if they're ready for me to take it. Tomorrow I take his head clean off. Add that head, every featherweight head I'm coming for. But whatsoever, a man that wears a suit as good as this does not feel <laughs> pressure. However, moving around is difficult. In and out of the gym, I have to dodge pantyhose. My mind is absolutely bulletproof, solid as a rock. I am number one. So if you are number one, who gives a shit if number two steps out in place of number three? I look forward to looking him dead in the eye, and I swear I can't wait to see his eyes turn to glass. But I'm ready to fight tomorrow, I swear to God. If something kicks off, I'm ready to go. There's no commission out here, so if shit pops off, I'm ready. I know that much. People think it's a joke and I'm playing it. The Joker. We'll see who's a joke tomorrow. They tried to get me to play a little game. We wanted to play football. Football together. What the fuck? I'm not playing football. I'm not here to play friend. I'm not here to play games with this crew. I'm here to kill him. We'll see. We'll see where it goes, but I need to see active. I need to see I need to see activity. I need to see consistency. I need to see me. You know what I mean? If you want me to come and change your life, if you want me to come pick you, you better have some damn reasons for me to do that. So um, we'll see how that goes. There's criticism. People say, you didn't fight Mendes, you didn't fight Lamas, you didn't fight Edgar, you didn't fight the wrestlers of the division to get a title shot. What do you think of those criticisms? They all suck, in my opinion. They are five foot... Mendes is five foot five. His reach is like that. He can't even... He can't even... I'd put my hand and hold my hand on his forehead and he wouldn't even be able to hit me. Let me raise this... This is what I want to do. This is what I dreamed about. This is what I dreamed into reality. Good. Oh, that looks good. God bless. Look at the shape I'm in there. You think I was coming in soft? We, we discussed, as you can see, it, it's tradition. I remove a head. I bring it backstage. I place it on Mr. Fertitta and Mr. White's desk. Here you go, boss. Another one done. And then we discussed big business. So we went and we discussed big business. And big business just happens to be in Viva Las Vegas. So... We are gonna go to Las Vegas, and one more head will be collected. I don't, I don't care about his skin. It's his head I'm after. It's the McGregor division, make no mistake about it. If I leave, if I leave and go to the lightweight division, the featherweights go back to the prelims. Of course I want that gold belt. Don't 
trying to tell me that that gold belt sitting up right there on this table would not look great to go alongside this ivory elephant trunk suit that I have got on me right now. It would look perfect. I know Dana wants to see it. I know Lorenzo wants to see it. Shout out to Uncle Frank. I know he wants to see it. I am picking what I want and I am doing what I want. When you can rack up $400 million in revenue for the company in back-to-back -back events, you can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm living the whatever the fuck I want life. That's the life I live. Whatever I want, whenever I want. And I have earned that through hard work, through sacrifice, and that's it, through, through victory. Why would I wanna train in that bum gym? I train with my own people. I have since day one. That man needs to get his facts straight before I roll in there and buy that gym and turn it into a fucking dump. Uh, thank you, everybody. I enjoyed reading your mean tweets. I will wipe my tears with my money and carry on. Thank you so much. Being, that was a big mistake. You, you misadvised him. Huh? You should have kept him retired. Oh, my goodness. It's your fault. You're <laughs> this is my first time in a boxing ring. And in six weeks, I run boxing. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs. Fuck the Mayweathers! One, two, three! As far as Floyd, whatever, he's, he's, he's a small man, so he looks frail to me. But I, I, see, I see a half a fire. I don't now, see the finished product. I see a weak core, small legs. I see an, a man who would be easily and will be easily dismantled. What's your best friend, Housen? You little fucking weasel. If there's ever a man that looks like a weasel, that's fucking it. You gonna do, you gonna stand up and do something? You sit down and shut your fucking mouth. Inside four rounds? Why are you so confident I you believe can beat so. him inside four rounds? I believe so, his little head. His, li his little head and my big fist. They don't go together, so he will be done in four. You juice head turkey, and you juice head turkey. Look where you're standing now. Look where you're standing now, you two fucking bitches. You do fuck all. You juice head monkey, juice head monkey. Spit it out. I'm going to spit it out. I'm going to spit it out. Take that flip flop out of your mouth. He's hard to hit. He's one of the best defensive fighters in history. How are you going to, how are you going to land a I park? don't care. I don't give a sh what he is. I disagree. Okay. He can catch it on the glove as well. That's enough to knock him out. My shots break the guard. Check the facts. I bounce heads off the canvas. What's with these two juice heads you got? What the fuck was that yesterday? He jumped up and he shouted, Voltron, Power Rangers, and these fucking juice heads can walk and stand up before me. Me, 40 years of age. Get your fucking shit together, my god. When I count to three, I want this entire arena to scream, fuck the Mayweathers. One, two, three, fuck the Mayweathers. He won't do shit. Do fucking nothing. <laughs> got three. Uh, yeah, so yeah, Floyd, yeah. So Floyd's you know got the you know money got, got, and he got tax two problems. That's <laughs> what he's got. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> That's heavy shit. Heavy That's shit. heavy shit. It's hard to get out from underneath that. Fucking guy. right it is, especially when I'm on top of you. <laughs> I'm just stunting around my boxing ring. This is my boxing ring. I am boxing. How difficult or how easy will it be to go back to MMA afterwards? Because you are going to earn an extraordinary amount of money for this. Oh, say it again. You're going to earn an extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. One more time. An extraordinary <laughs> amount of money. Uh, and while we're at it, fuck Showtime too, you little weasel. Look at you, you little fucking weasel. I can see it in your eyes. You're a fucking bitch. You fucking weasel and you fucking bitch. Do some slap.
slap him. Do a little slap him. Boom. I'm so happy you took that hat off. I got to say, what the fuck were you hiding under that thing? That little fucking peanut head. Two sugars. Two sugars, bitch. Are you on my shit? Oh, I'm gonna get them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can see a fan when I fucking see I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna whoop your ass myself. Someone, someone said him a son in the autograph. What the fuck is this motherfucker doing? Step up or going to him. Step up or my going. Good kid, good kid. It's right here. It's right here. Stop me. You won't do shit. Are you dragging it on me? Sit down and shut the fuck up. Shut up! And just so that, just to show that that's squashed, here's a little present for my beautiful black female fans. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna touch you. I ain't gonna touch you, don't worry. I know that, I but just you. know I'm ready to slap the head off you. I, ain't gonna touch you. Don't I know worry. that. Good girl, good bitch. I will abide by the boxing rules. I'll abide by the Marcus of Queensberry rules only if he speaks my name. If he disrespects me during this tour or during this build-up, then maybe I might, might just bounce an elbow off his eyebrow. <laughs> so that's on him how he does it. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Listen to this. By the time you climb up into the ring uh, from the steps, he'll already be bust down but from the eyebrow down. I just want to speak to all the boxing pussies, all the little punda pussies, supposed experts. You're fucking crazy if you think this man stands a chance. <laughs> His head is too small. One shot is all it takes me. Check the facts. I bounce shots off there. I bounce heads off the canvas. Two, three. There's a fucking birthday song, bitch. Life is so fucking good. How do I look? What the fuck is he wearing? He looks like a little break dancer or something, a little 12 year old break dancer, bitch. What the fuck? He's 40. You're 40 years of age. Dress your fucking age. Mate, you're 40. Get that fucking phone out of your hand like a fucking kid. A 40 year old man. What the fuck? He tipped up toes to a decision. He's never even fought a day in his life. He's a runner. He's boxing's biggest bitch. The aim is to bounce your shin bone off your opponent's nose bone. That's, that's, that's the game I come from. So I'm gonna come out the gate very, very differently. I'm gonna paint a very different picture and I'm gonna land my shots and put them away. That's it! That's it? There's about five grand in here. There's about five grand in here. Fuck me. Just now you do something with that flag. You ain't getting this bag or this money carrying a school bag on stage. What are you doing with a school bag on stage? You can't even read. 40 years old carrying a school bag. The man doesn't even fucking read. Happy to be given the UFC a 7.1 million dollar gate because it is me who has given them this gate, nobody else. Realistically, realistically, Dave here shouldn't even be up here. I should be on that podium. I should be standing right there. That's, that should be my spot. And Dave, maybe you should sit here because it's me who's at the bring in all this. 7.1 million dollar gate, highest numbers every time. We have we have superstars singing us into the octagon. Who do you think got that? Me. So I said I'd knock him out in the first round, and I knocked him out in the first round. You can call me Mystic Mac because I predict these things. That's kind of racially motivated. Did you mean to say it like that? Mate, shut the f up and get away from me. You're a, remember that Jesus shit you brought up? Yeah. Such a stupid question, man. There's a question people want to know, man. You're, you're an idiot. But you say you smell fear in him. Yes, it is a beautiful aroma that arouses me. Congratulations on the victory. You are 100% healthy coming out of this though, correct? 
I'm fresh as a daisy. <laughs> How good does the hooligan look? In his tree piece. Frick, do you have any thoughts on Dennis Siver? Um, my thoughts on Dennis Siver is he's a midget German steroid head. That's my, that's my thoughts on him, so I don't have any thoughts other than that. But if you think, you said congratulations, I'm now number nine. If you think I celebrate number nine, you're highly mistaken, my friend. I own this town. <laughs> I own Rio de Janeiro. So for him to say he is the king and I am the joker, if this was a different time, I would invade his favela on horseback and kill anyone that was not fit to walk. But we are in a new time, so I'll whoop his ass in July. I cannot go anywhere in my hometown. You know, there's murals on the side of buildings with my pretty, pretty face. I can make you Look rich. You, I change your bum life. You fight me, it's a celebration. You can, beat you when you try to fight me, it's a celebration. You ring back home, you ring your wife. Baby, we done it. We're rich, baby. Conor McGregor made us rich. Break out the red panties. We're rich, baby. So don't say you would not take that fight because you would take that fight like everyone else up here would take the fight against me if it was offered, regardless of belts or any of that shit. I'm the money fight in the male, male shit at all weight division, so fuck everybody else up here. And in the corner of my eye, I can see, I can see Rashad looking at me like, what's this, uh, what's this crazy Irish motherfucker saying? He's, he's not, you know what I mean? I could sense doubt in him. So when, I, when they offered me to go up again, I went up, this elephant trunk ivory suit. He done nothing. Well, that's my question. If, if they did something, what are you going to do? I had five securities with armed, ready to pop off. You know, my suits are custom fitted, right? Custom fitted to perfection. These, all these other guys are used to loose fitting suits, suits that hang, that American look. Like, even look at your, look at your arms, it goes away. It's not, it's not correct, so you're used to that. Me, I'm not used to that. Me, mine is crisp, perfect. Uh -huh. Look into my eyes, little man. Little Brazilian. Ooh, vamos here. You've got nothing to say face to face. Give me that. Special in that. Here's my outlook on Connor. First off, Connor, how, how tall are you, buddy? Five foot nine. All right. I'm five six. You're five four at least. Three, three inches taller than me, buddy. <laughs> five foot four at least. You should stand up because we can barely yeah. see you on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Too slow and too stiff. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half, and, and that's it. Yes. I see stiffness when I look in that 155-pound division. Slow, stiff. I feel like they're stuck in the mud almost. The featherweights, they hit like flyweights, so it's nice down there just destroying them and killing that whole division. But I have my eye on that 155 division, and I see them all stuck in the mud. Connor, Connor do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> First on of the scene, there's so many great fighters up here and great fights over the next three months, terrific fighters. If, if you were sitting out here and you had to pay for one of these fights or watch one of these fights, who would it be and why? Um, as a, an employee of the UFC, I would pay for every single one. <laughs> yeah, it's red panty night when you sign to fight me, eh? Back at your back at home with your wife. It's a celebration. Let's make a bet here. Let's, if, if you fucking have the How much? to do anything. With that half a million. You're making bets with that half a million I gave you? 48,000 you went from. You went from 48,000 to half a million. Thank me and be grateful. Be grateful. Weeks, three weeks, I thought, I butchered your face. I KO'd you, you were curled up like a bitch. All right, next question. You know, I wanted to speak to you. I wanted to, I did want to speak to you because you called yourself the Mike Tyson of the featherweight Dude, division. You fucking stop drinking the I just water. want to ask you a question. You called yourself the Mike Tyson of the featherweight division, and I marched forward, stood yeah, in the how, pocket, how and did, said, what have you got? Your, how, and you hit like a fucking strawweight. You hit like a strawweight calling yourself the Mike.